This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI football season kicks off in less than two weeks at Kinnick Stadium against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Expectations are high for both schools as there will be a lot of experienced players on both sides of the football for this in-state matchup. Here now are some of the key members on the Panthers defensive unit for the 2014 football season. Since last season, I just really worked on my squats and this bench press, and I really wanted to work on my cleans, you know, more explosion and stuff like that, so I could be more twitchy off the line. We had 105 guys here this summer that stayed and paid their way through to lift and stay up here this summer in Cedar Falls, so it, it went pretty good. Still working on my pass rush, just trying to not perfect it, but just get it better. I wanted to work on, you know, strength a little bit and get some more size. And as a team, you know, we wanted to work about work on accountability. Um, quickness, more explosion, because, you know, playing defensive back, it's all about quick twitch and uh, making the play on the ball, you know, with extreme speed. Getting smarter about the game, being able to see the big picture overall, um, making sure I can pick up on my reads uh, even quicker. And yeah, I think just, you know, as you get older, you learn you know, just to see more of the field. The biggest thing was just coming together as a team, and I think when you have 105 guys stay in the summer, you know, it shows, you know, that, that we, we came together, you know, it's a big deal, so. Honestly, I'd say probably waking up every morning, but it's summertime and we're all working towards the bigger picture. Uh, the rehabilitation from my injury, you know, I broke my foot, had to have two surgeries on it, so focus my off season this year was just uh, getting that healthy, doing a lot of rehab. I enjoy the off season. Uh, probably, probably the toughest part is spring ball because you're still doing school and, and the workload goes up a level. The 180s that you know Coach Farley is historically known for. You know, no matter what, he'll have you running in 180s from, you know, from seven to seven thirty. Just know you got to get it done. You know, he's been doing that for as many years as he's been here. He won't change it. Although the football field is only hundred yards, uh, I'll probably say during the winter we did these breathing squats. Uh, those are pretty tough, and then. Obviously, we always do the winter conditioning in here uh, real early in the morning. I think we're in here before 6 a.m. and uh, that's always tough to do, but you know, it's actually good. It builds, it builds the whole team. Having experience and, you know, being motivated coming off last year, you know, I think, you know, the sky's the limit for our defense. And uh, just kind of having that veteran class, we got a lot of skilled guys, a lot of, a lot of hardworking guys that are willing to compete. So much fun being out there with the guys. I mean, we got a great unit, secondary, especially the D-line, and we got some uh, linebackers coming in, another Farley, of course. There's a lot of guys that just like to get after, just get after it, you know, it's a very aggressive group of guys, and uh, it's always good when you get an aggressive group of guys out there on defense. Leadership's easier, you know, we didn't have like uh, four or five guys trying to control a ton of people. Uh, we got a big group of guys, are all leaders. This year we kind of have a, I guess, a little swagger about us. We have the feeling that we can be one of the best defenses. It kind of reminds me of the Seahawks a little bit. We got a whole bunch of personalities, but when it's time for business, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you suit up your suit and tie, you just, you know what I'm saying, you go out and go get it, so. In my eyes, we're all hungry. Just the, with last season leaving the bad taste in our mouth, I mean, we're all coming together and just they've got that strong bond. I mean, I've never even been to Hawaii, but I mean, just seeing that Pro Bowl game on that field and previous games at Hawaii, it's going to be a great experience. I'm excited to see uh, the terrain and everything. Uh, it'll just be an interesting place to play. I know it's just somewhere like everybody, like everybody wants to go to Hawaii at least once. My grandpa's flying for the first time ever. It's kind of exciting for me. Uh, just um, first time for me going there. But uh, it's a chance for us, you know, to, to get a big win, too. I think they're going to do some cool things for us, too, out there uh, on top of football. But it'll be cool, yeah, just to go play in Hawaii and say that you've done that. <laughs>